It's only the second week of 2024 and already there's more news in Germany than I think I can cope with. As if it wasn't enough that the train drivers are going on strike, now the farmers are blocking the roads. So basically, if you don't have a helicopter, you should probably stay at home. I've already talked a bit about the train drivers' strike, so let's take a look at the farmers' protests. Why are they protesting and is their protest justified? Also, there's a lot of talk about this being a neo-Nazi action, so what's the story behind that? But first, the background. Late last year, the government announced that agricultural vehicles like tractors would no longer be exempt from vehicle tax and farmers would no longer receive a fuel subsidy. The farmers were quite upset about this and complained very loudly. Vehicle tax made no sense for vehicles that barely used public roads at all except to get from one field to another and removing fuel subsidies would, they say, threaten their livelihoods. The government took the point about vehicle tax but insisted that fuel subsidies will have to go. They will simply be phased out in the next couple of years. Surely, considering that in the last financial year, farmers made record profits, about 115,000 euros on average, they wouldn't miss the loss of around 3,000 in subsidies. That wasn't enough for the farmers who've now started their protests. These involve using their tractors to block important road junctions or create slow-moving convoys. Their message? If you want to block our subsidies, we'll block your roads. So are the farmers' protests really justified? And if fuel subsidies really are a problem, why not just get electric tractors? Well, farmers would tell you that these record profits don't go nearly as far as you think they might. They come after years of disappointingly low profits. Over the last five years, the average annual profit of an average farm has been more like 60,000 euros. And that profit is not disposable income. Family members who work on the farm, and this is extremely common, have to be paid out of those profits. And the same is in fact true of the farmer's health insurance premiums, contributions to the pension fund, and various other costs besides. The rest goes into building reserve funds for extraordinary costs, such as the purchase of new machinery. You see, back in the 1950s, one farmer fed about 10 people. Now it's well over 100 on average and rising. This means that farms have to continually modernize, and that is expensive. On top of that, the spike in profits was mainly caused by a decrease in supply due to the war in Ukraine. With the supply now stabilized, profits are expected to fall again. As for electric tractors, they first have to be bought. This model, which is one of the smaller ones, costs about 120,000 euros, more than twice the price of this fossil fuel-powered tractor that has roughly the same power output. And the battery only lasts about four hours, which for most farmers is totally useless. So this is why the farmers are really upset at the moment, especially with the Green Party. But their protests have been a bit over the top, shall we say? Not only that, but some of them have featured Nazi symbols and far-right slogans. This, for example, is the flag of an extremist right-wing organization that supported the Nazi party in the Weimar Republic. The German Farmers Association, which is basically a kind of trade union for farmers, has put out public statements denouncing the violence and rhetoric and worrying that a line has been crossed. It is not a good sign when, so early on, the association calling for the protests is talking as if it's lost control of the situation. Now, although a fair number of farmers are certainly AFD supporters, most are more likely to be in with the CDU and CSU. But observers have noticed a lot of very extreme protesters who seem to be encouraging violence. Some of these groups are really quite nasty and make the AFD look like Hillary Clinton. One of them, for example, is a political party that claims to follow the ideology of Gregor Strasser, the man whom Hitler replaced as leader of the actual Nazi party. For the far right, the Green Party is the epitome of everything they stand against. 
They particularly object to what they say is a highly authoritarian approach, demanding that ordinary citizens make sacrifices for the sake of their ideology. It makes sense then that these groups would want to attach themselves to these protests in the hope that some sort of revolution will follow. At the very least, it's a great opportunity for a recruitment drive. And, well, this is a very complex subject, and I've barely scratched the surface. But hopefully, this has given you some insight into what's going on. I think I can cope with. If it wasn't... Uh, agricultural vehicles like... Now, although a... Uh, is a very complex subject... Ooh.